We will be shit. We probably will be shit. <laughs> we'll try not to be though, because we won't be. I like hate shit. when this happens to me. Hi guys, I'm Chantel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm joined by the lovely Tony Phillips. Hello, hello. Uh, now, Tony, if you don't know, is a radio DJ and presenter for Capital FM and Capital Extra. And she's also a blogger. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we will start with a couple of questions and we'll end with a quick fire round. Love that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. Um, <laughs> cool. So, Tony, tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into radio. Okay, cool. So, um, uh, well, I started off on my local radio station, which was down on the south coast. And I just sort of went there and learned as much as I possibly could. Worked there for free for a bit, which is what I think most people have to do, especially yeah. getting into media and stuff. So, yeah, and just sort of like work, worked my way up from there, really. Because I just knew radio was, I just loved it the second I sort of went into the radio station. So. Yeah, it just, just sort of worked for free. We all have to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it paid off in the end. <laughs> um, what is your favourite thing about working at Capital? Um, well, I, the music. I just love music. Yeah. So it's cool. So it's cool to just be playing all the big tunes and just yeah. actually tunes that you love because everything we play, we're doing hits. They're all massive tunes. Of course, so, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, and I, I love them just as much as everyone else. You know, they go top ten for a reason. Because yeah. They're great songs, so it's really cool. And then I love that on extra, we get to play some of the old school stuff yeah. as well, which is you know past hits. So that's great as well. So yeah, just being around music every day and just just doing something that I love, I feel very lucky to do that. Yeah. Um, what is the hardest part about your job? Um. I don't think there is a hard part. <laughs> well, that's good. That's always a I love it. So, you know, even if I have lots of work on, I have a busy day or I'm tired or whatever, like, because I'm just lucky to love, like, literally love everything about it, I, I don't I don't find, you know, if I'm hungover, which does happen, <laughs> I'm not sort of annoyed, you know, when you wake up, you're like, oh, I've got to go to work. I'm yeah. like, no, cool, I want to go to work, it's fine. It's, yeah. I, honestly, that's true. I don't think there's anything, I love all the people, everyone I work with is great. So there's nothing sort of bad there. That is so great. That is really cool. That is so great. Unlucky. What is the highlight of your career so far? Wow. Um, I think probably, probably at the moment, definitely the success of Capital Extra because it's a new station that we launched, and um, we're one of the, like we're the fastest growing commercial radio station at the moment. We're just we're coming up to like a million uh, listeners and stuff. So bearing in mind, no one had heard of us. We were completely brand yeah. new. We've all worked really hard to get it sounding amazing, and now people are starting to recognise that. Yeah. So that feels, I feel really proud to be involved in that. That's, yeah. you know, that's an amazing achievement. Yeah, of course. So it's definitely. kind of history, so it's cool. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is very cool. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to your blog. Mm -hmm. How did you get into blogging? Uh, through a few people saying that just sort of off the back of like Twitter, and I used to have a Facebook and stuff. And then uh, my housemates as well, like listening to me just talking nonsense all the time. They were like, "You need to blog. You should write this stuff yeah. down." So I, uh, quite a few people said it to me. So I thought I'll give it a go. Yeah. Um, what do you enjoy most about blogging? Um, so I enjoy it because on my journey into work mm -hmm. on the tube, that's when I kind of write it all. So it keeps me occupied. And yeah. I, it's cool, like when I'm just walking down the street and I see something, I think, right, I need to write about that. And, and just, it, I'm just constantly busy. And I like yeah. that. I like just writing. I've always been one of those people that write so much nonsense down, like in my notes. And yeah. you know, in the older days, obviously, we didn't have iPhones and like, <laughs> you know, bits of paper and stuff. Um, so that side of it, just writing everything that I'm thinking, it's yeah. cool. It's cool yeah. to get it out there. And I suppose it's documenting your life, isn't it, in a way? I'm very much, it's very personal. Yeah. Anything, like, because what's the point in hiding anything? It's all cool. It's, yeah. Just get it out there, isn't it? Get it out there, guys. <laughs> get it <in> first. <laughs> um, how do you come up with the content of your blog? Well, you kind of explained that. You said in terms of you kind of see something, you've got to write about it. Yeah. So what about other stuff in terms of like your fashion and. So there's like yeah. So obviously I'm, I'm quite into fashion and stuff. So that's that's one aspect. But then I'll sort of I'll take a picture of the outfit and wear it, and then I'll just go off on a completely different other subject. And then uh, you know the other day I went to go and visit my mum. I was on quite a long train journey, so I did one about that. Um, I've seen, I, I observed a few people and I would never mention names, but I've seen some people being a bit 
sort of odd uh, behaviour, <laughs> shall we say, and I and that I pick up on that and just just things like that. I just get yeah. inspired from loads of different things. I've done a music one, which I think if uh, it's successful, I'll do some more music ones. And yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, what advice would you give to someone who's wanting to start their own blog? Well, I mean, I'm not a major successful blogger. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm not the best person to ask, but it's just a bit of fun, just do it, you know, it's just yeah. something to do with your time, and just if you think you'll enjoy it, then do it, as long as yeah. it's not going to cause you any, like it doesn't stress me out, I actually really enjoy it. So don't take it too seriously. Yeah, and just, yeah. I, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? But I mean, like I said, I'm not sort of one of these famous bloggers or anything, so, yeah. I mean, I'm not making any money out of it or anything like that, we'll yeah, see how it goes. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, that's totally what I mean, it's yeah. just, just do it, so if you've got the time and it's not going to be any stress, then you should just do it if you enjoy it. Yeah. Know? And yeah. I I do, I genuinely enjoy just if no one reads it, I don't really mind, I think it's fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. And that's the way it should be, I think. Yeah, if that's your outlook, yeah. then you should 100 percent do yeah. it. And that would just be my advice, just do Definitely. it. Definitely. And I just don't care what anyone thinks as well. Like I honestly could not care what anyone thinks about it. Yeah. I'm sure there's people that like say, oh, I can't believe she's written that, it's ridiculous or whatever, I don't care. Just, yeah. And in that way, I think if you did a blog and you were writing things down, you, that you would become tough because you would be like, well, I'm enjoying it, so I don't really care what yeah. I'm saying. So it might yeah. help build your sort of like, um, what's, you know, your character, yeah. your tolerance to like people being mean and yeah. stuff. You just start to forget about it. So that would be a good, that would be my good advice to do it. Very good advice. <laughs> We're gonna do the quick fire round. Already? That's okay. Is yeah. that it? Is that what you're that, now? That's that's. We're going to ask a lot of questions. Oh, right, so we're yeah. not quick fire. I've got to be quick, but you've got to be quick. Right, okay, okay. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, what was the first thing you did this morning? Oh, I need to think. Uh, oh, check my phone, definitely. What was the last holiday you went on? Miami. What was the last text you sent? <laughs> not a very nice one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Phil Boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite colour? <laughs> Purple. Pizza topping? Just margarita. Favourite animal? Uh, Pomeranians. Are you wearing socks? No. What's your star sign? Leo. Uh, what's your favourite word? Chic. What's your most embarrassing moment? Uh, I don't know, I haven't watched this back yet. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's been your favourite birthday so far? Uh, this one that just happened in July was pretty good. What's your favourite TV channel? BBC3 for Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. What's your favourite film? Uh, maybe Goodfellas? Uh, what country would you like to visit the most? I love America. And Dubai. Oh. I can have two. Okay, you can have two. <laughs> uh, what is the... Wait, Dubai's not really country. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, just thinking what? of holiday destinations. Yeah, you know I, mean? I know. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh... See, this is now... Real now. <laughs> and this is also now my most embarrassing moment, so that's great. <laughs> Yay! I've answered two months. Uh, what's your favourite pink item? Uh, oh, my little key ring. I have a little key ring, which I think is lovely and cute. What's the last thing you bought? Uh, a salad, actually. Boring. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite drink? Mmm, Coke if I'm hungover. Out, champagne. And who's your favourite person right now? Um. Oh, I don't, I don't have, I don't, my mum. <laughs> good, that's a good answer, that's a good answer. I don't, I don't. <laughs> Okay. That was hard. That, that, you did good though. I didn't. I made a fool of myself. I yeah. look really stupid now. Yeah, the Geography wasn't my well, strong point. Okay. Well, Do you see well, what I was thinking though? I, I got. I, yeah, I got it. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can find Tony on social media, not on Facebook. No. On Twitter and Instagram <laughs> at Tony Phillips TP. Uh, and go check out her blog. It's lostitgirl.com. I'll leave a link to that below. Uh, and that's it. Wicked. I'll see you this next week fun. Monday with a brand new video. Bye.